jou. Maar nee. Is lekker buiten geweest. Hm? Lekker weer, hè? Let's turn the camera on for a bit, because I haven't been talking to a camera for a while, except for informational videos or updates, and I noticed that I wasn't doing that because I kind of might have felt a little bit off, and I realized that when I feel off I don't grab a camera and talk. While this is also something that happens, and also um, reality I um, especially want to share, because you know, the, the thought is that if you go through uh, surgery and if you start testosterone and the, 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 the initial, th isn't the initial thought, thought, wow, the initial thought, the initial, the initial, the initial thought, there we go, the initial thought is that you would feel happy and that you're like, I'm on top of the world and everything's going great. And to be honest, um, things are going great, uh, physical wise, and I just had an appointment at the hospital and besides the low blood pressure, everything seemed fine. The blood results aren't in yet, but we'll see, I'll see them in the next week, I guess. Um, but I think uh, because of me feeling more comfortable with myself and everything going absolutely great with the operation and post-operation, and recovery, I kind of have room for things I haven't processed yet. And those are things about my past and things that happened and uh, things I thought I was over it and I'm not. And I, th I feel like I have more room for that now. So that basically gets me into a next phase where I'm happy with myself and now also want to be, take the step further to be happy with my surroundings and my place in this world that sounds very very broad and very some kind of spiritual thought but this what is my place in the world like some kind of bigger meaning but that's that's not let's keep it a little bit um smaller than that um no it's just like with feeling more comfortable with myself and being able to yeah and just just be happy with, in that it's like i'm discovering that comes with ups and downs and I believe uh, we're at a topic now um, I'm at a topic now where I'm I realize I haven't fully processed that yet and I don't want to talk about it but it's um, it's just just something that I, I want to share that it's not like oh you're on testosterone oh you're you have your you've had your operations everything's uh, all your problems are gone and it's definitely not <laughs> yeah so, um, and also I've been very busy with work, so that's also the, my, my distraction. If I, if I don't feel well, I kind of get distracted. I'm, I'm looking for distraction, then I'm going to fully focus on work and those sort of things. But at least I notice it right now. And that's compared to the past is a big achievement, is a big um, growth from my side because in the past I wouldn't have noticed this so, and I would just continue and continue and be uh, yeah like and ending up with I don't know migraine or worse I've noticed is that I have although I'm busy all the time I, I also have I, I can find my rest in reading and I bought an iPad and that really helps just 
reading more and I'm very interested in reading about topics as gender identity and um, that's why I started the new, the new topic on my channel to talk a little bit more about um, books and articles and things I read. In that first video I made and I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I have to learn a lot because I am not really good at uh, expressing my thoughts on a book which is like about 300 pages and then in a couple of minutes give my thoughts um, my mind goes like all over the place and goes into details that are not very interesting and forgets broader topics that I did not even address in that video but the thing I noticed in also looking back at that video is the the feeling of Michael Dillon if, if you haven't seen the video I'll, I'll link it um, wanting to belong somewhere and I said in that video like hey dude get over it at one point and that made me think is, is that something that I um, wanted to say hit to him or did I say that to myself that also points uh, or that gives me insight to that I might be more open for that kind of topics more now that I um, don't really worry or not not very busy with my gender identity anymore sure it's always a thing because feeder went off um, but it's not like the main topic anymore it's i feel like there's room for other topics right now and that's good and also very scary 